Hello everyone and welcome to Net Crypto where you get important information and news about all coins and tokens of interest. And today we are taking a look at Slothana. So we have already identified this one as a scam, right? So now uh, we are just going to be talking exactly how we can expect the scam to develop uh, using notes from the other scams on Ethereum. So we do know uh, other scams that they've launched on Ethereum. So we do know that the same team behind uh, the, the scam lords behind this scam are the same ones behind Dogeverse. They are the same ones behind Dogecoin20. They are the same ones between, behind Scotty, the AI. How we see this, there are multiple art articles out there where they are promoting this, the multi, they are all their scams in just one article. For example, on Washaguru, we have this uh, sponsored post, five coins, five meme, new meme tokens that could explode this April, right? And within that uh, post, you see here they are saying, um, what they are saying here is, if we just scroll there, so we see they are saying based on expert opinions, I wonder who those experts are, right? The best projects are Dogeverse, Slothana, and Dogecoin. Right, and then they also threw in Brett and Myro there. But their main projects there you see Dogeverse, Slotana, Dogecoin 20. And we do know Dogecoin 20, right? Soon after launch, they pulled out a lot of liquidity from there and the price dropped. And now they are propping up the price using schema bots. Right. This is schema bot. I did do the video to show uh the Dogecoin 20 investors exactly how the, the price artificial price pump is going on there. And the other thing I wanted to highlight is uh, for meme tokens, normally you're going to be seeing tons and tons of memes on X. But in this case, they haven't done really an update since the 28th. Maybe after release of this video, they are going to do an update. But the last update was on the 28th. And before that, it was on the 25th. So the memes are quite scarce right now. They are not really updating right their page. right. And also the sloth has red eyes. Someone just did comment on one video just making an interest an interesting statement that maybe the team is trying to send subliminal messages that maybe rent con candles are awaiting after launch right with the red eyes but just that's just something that someone possibly just speculated right uh because the scammers might be sending those subliminal messages but that's really irrelevant right so just taking a look at uh the scam flow rather uh the first thing that we have seen is they obviously launch the pre-sale and then after they launch the pre-sale they start heavy marketing so most of the marketing that i have seen is to do with uh, sponsored posts like the one we see on watcha guru right and then also the hype youtubers the youtubers who basically will accept money from anyone who wants to promote anything right so all these youtubers who call these scams the next 100x right just the same as they said dogecoin 20 was the next 100x now Dogecoin 20 uh, basically rugged a lot of people, 60%, 70% value lost, right? And now they've jumped over to Dodge Vest, right? So that's the next stage. And then now things are now interesting because this is the first scam we're actually covering on Solana. So what we're expecting now is the date to be announced when the tokens are going to be airdropped. So this is the change that we are seeing because the rest of these other scams are on Ethereum. And I'm going to be showing you how they do it on Ethereum, how the, the scam runs on Ethereum. So now we are waiting for the airdrop. So obviously here, the biggest risk is as an investor is you don't receive your airdrop, right? Just like in, in Ethereum, they actually force stake you, which basically means you don't have access to your tokens because in some instances, they forced stake. For example, in Scotty, the AI, some investors have been forced staked for 90 days after launch. For three months, they won't be able to have access to their tokens, right? That's something that we have seen. So obviously, the risk here is uh, some uh, investors don't receive their tokens. They don't receive the airdrop. So just let me know uh, if it is a month after this video, did you receive your, your your airdrop right and on that note what we have also seen is they use the 80 20 rule to confuse the market because the 80 20 rule says 80 percent of the liquidity so let's say 10 million has been raised in the pre-sale right 8 million that's 80 percent right would have been coming just from 20 percent of the investors 
right? They are, they are investors who invest large amounts into these uh, pre-sales, right? And they are only 20% that will be investing the largest amount. And the people who invest, the investors who invest like 20 bucks, 30 bucks, those are just going to contribute 20% of the liquidity. But they, the amount of investors are actually 80% who invest those minimal amounts. So the schemas allow the people who've invested the 20%, which is 2 million out of 10, right, to be able to get their airdrop, to be able to claim their tokens, right? But then the 20% who invested the largest amounts just don't get their airdrop. And by so doing, they are able to manipulate the price because the, the investors who invested the largest amounts, they can't sell, right? So they use their liquidity to prop up the price. They cash out for themselves and everyone thinks everything is going great. But there is this 20%, their voice, right, is thwarted because they, they really can't complain. Because everybody else is saying, I was able, I, I got my airdrop, I am happy, I even made maybe 1, 2x. But we've got this 20% that are not receiving their tokens. And yet they are the ones who contributed the largest liquidity into the project, right? So that's something that you are going to be taking a look out for. And of course, like we said, this can go viral, right? But already for it to go viral, um, you have to have genuine people behind the project. But these ones are scammers. That's why you see here already, they are not really doing so many updates. Why? Because they've already moved on from this scam. And the one thing that they did cleverly is they did not um, uh, actually launch a Telegram group because of the issues that they've been dealing with multiple scams like Do Dogecoin 20 and also Scotty the AI, the community constantly asking for updates, right? And because these scammers just hire mods right to run these groups the scammers themselves they don't run the groups they just hire a few mods to run the groups and they have been abandoning those mods and those mods now are left with an angry community so in this case they did not even launch a telegram at all right so that they don't have to deal with uh investors asking genuine questions and the x page they're not even updating it at all right which is absolutely it's not really weird but if you're seeing this for the first time that's what the scammers are doing. So no doubt they've already moved on to new scams, right? So we're going to be waiting to see exactly how the situation develop. So just to give a rundown, and by the way, right, you can just head over to Amazon. Link, link is in the description to just grab yourself a copy of the Big Brain uh, Crypto Ego Logbook, right? It's there on Amazon and you'll be able to track up to 70 pre-sale. It's hardcover, it's durable. The only way that you can actually gain and become part of the 1% that actually does make money in crypto is by logging. For example, uh, with this scam Dogecoin 20, soon after it launched, the price dropped. So it dropped all the way to 402 of 403 and then the price recovered right somewhat but never to the pre-sale prices. So these are some of the opportunities you can see in some of these tokens to make money but not to directly invest into the pre-sale because a lot of scammy things can happen if you invest in the pre-sale they might actually just close the gates right and uh, you are not able to claim your tokens and in this case of Slotana they just don't uh, airdrop your tokens who are you going to complain to right the scammers are never going to um, in in Slotana is going to be actually pretty bad for those who don't actually receive their their airdrop right because there's no way to complain there's no telegram group right Unless maybe if the, the, the community has just created their own Telegram group. And be careful out there. There are going to be tons and tons of uh, scammers who are going to be trying to, 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 I call those hyenas, right? Like like the same way that hyenas goes around lions trying to, to steal the prey, right? So you need to be extremely careful of hyena scammers who are going to try to get your passphrases to your wallets and drain them out. Never, ever give your passphrase. Right? Your passphrase is almost the same thing as your PIN to your credit card. You wouldn't just give that to anybody. Right? Someone is, in fact, on the internet you don't even know. You won't give them your PIN and your, your CVV number on your credit card. You won't do that. You won't, you won't give them your credit card number, your PIN, your CVV number. You won't do that. Right? So the same thing applies. Right? Don't give anyone your passphrase. If anyone is asking you for that information, they are hyena scammers. Right? Uh, who are actually trying to leverage off already uh, this scam. So be extremely careful out there, right? So the method that they normally follow on Ethereum, right? Uh, they do the same thing by a first step, launch the pre-sale, and then also market with uh, crypto news websites as well as the uh, hype YouTube channels who accept 
money to sponsor anything, right? And also, uh, when investors start to buy, that's when they start to promote staking. That's why you see in these scams, staking forms the pillar, forms the pillar of the scam because people don't realize that they've been scammed if they are staked, right? So with Slotana, it's going to be a little bit different. So we just can't wait to see how things are going to develop so that we can just update and actually uh, expose the methods uh, of the scammers, right? And then after the, the they've encouraged a lot of people to stake, that's when, of course, we start to see the different stages of the prices increasing in the pre-sale. I'm not sure if they did the same thing on Slotana because I actually got to Slotana quite late. And then, of course, with the rest of these other uh, scams like uh, Dogevest, Dogecoin20, Scott, the AI, they launched on Ethereum because Ethereum is high gas fees, right? So it's a deterrent for investors uh, to sell. So that's why they love Ethereum. But this time, I think they saw the multiple memes that have been la launching on Sol and they said, you know what? There is money on Sol. Let's go and launch there as well, right? And um, after the, 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 uh, the launch date, right if for those who are staked they will be actually their tokens will be locked for seven days right that's what we've normally seen and then during those seven days that the tokens of the investors are locked right of majority of the investors then there's an artificial price pump they start to increase the price but most of the investors are stuck in staking right and they give the legitimacy to the project so the whole point of the scammers is to try to make the project look as legit as possible uh, unlike the olden days like in 2021 where they used to do honeypots right so you see here and in stage seven right uh, that's when after the seven days are done a lot of investors start now to unstake and that process takes about two weeks for everyone to unstake right this is where you see them now dropping the price once the seven days is being reached they will come to the price of the pre-sale or just below the pre-sale price so that you don't see really the need to sell because you're going to pay high gas fees anyway right and then uh, that's when you start to see the same thing that we've explained of forced staking right the 80 20 rule the the ones who in who actually uh, contributed the largest amounts or invested the largest amount in the pre-sale they are forced to stake for almost like three months. And by the time that the three months is done, that's when the scheme is complete. The price is down 70%. So even if those investors who invested the largest amounts now are allowed to sell, they are selling at an 80 to 70% loss, right? Uh, and now they've also been promoting the sex listings, right? Promising sex listings uh, during the pre-sale. And we've seen this with Wall Street memes, right? It had a tier one uh, listing, but it was still a scam, right? Uh, so th that's how it works on Ethereum. But we've already explained, like, we're going to be developing exactly how it's going to be working, right, on Solana. So this is an, an update video that I just wanted to do. Don't forget to head over to Amazon and grab yourself a copy of the Big Brain Crypto Ego, Log Ego Logbook if you want to distinguish yourself, right, uh, from the rest of the other investors and just being the 1% who record pertinent information, right, about multiple pre-sales so that you can see where actually you make your money. Like, for example, we spoke of this price drop. I never invest in the pre-sale, right? Uh, so this is the update for this one. Let me know, did you get your airdrop, especially if you invested a large amount, right, over 50,000, over like 30,000. If you invested more than that, did you get your airdrop? Right? Let me know. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.